This video is sponsored by Paperlike. This video that you clicked on has one singular goal, and that is to find the best note-taking app for the iPad Pro, or any other iPad for that matter. We have three competitors today. The first one is GoodNotes 5, and we got Notability, and we got the underdog OneNote. In my opinion, GoodNotes 5 has the best writing experience on the iPad Pro. Notability, however, it has an incredible audio record function that is a must-have for lectures. And OneNote? Well, it actually beats GoodNotes 5 and Notability on a couple features we'll talk about later. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Hafu Go, and hit the subscribe button to join the Go gang, because we are literally the most ambitious and hard-working community on YouTube. We're always improving ourselves and working towards our goals. Our next big goal is to hit that 100k subs. And you can help by hitting the subscribe button. We're reaching there very, very soon. Now, let's get into comparing these apps. Since school hasn't started yet, to conduct this test, I actually took an online class, preview of what you are going to be doing next semester, <laughs> of the Psychology 230H at University of Toronto, taught by Jordan Peterson. All right, it's a 50-minute lecture, which is typical of those in college. I took notes on each individual app for one-third of the lecture, so to give it an objective test of all the features. Starting with GoodNotes 5. GoodNotes 5 has a very simple UI. It's very intuitive. You jump straight into it. I imported the PDF lecture. It was easy to do. And then I just started writing right away. One deceptively simple yet useful feature that stood out to me was the auto deselect feature on the eraser. Let's say you're writing my name. My name is Hafu, but you misspell it and you spell Hafa. All right. What you can do is just double tap on the Apple Pencil, goes to the eraser automatically. You erase it and watch this. Boom. It switches right back to the pen tool and you can write the correct spelling. Arguably the best feature on GoodNotes 5. The highlighter auto straightens. No more messy highlights. GoodNotes also has a templates feature where you can import templates that you have, which will save you a lot of time if you're doing journals and stuff like that. The notebooks are pretty aesthetic because you can change the covers and you can change the inside layout from dots, line, grid, whatever, uh, into whatever you want. So that is a very nice feature to have. And let's just talk about the writing experience. What makes it so good other than the auto deselect function? Well, first of all, it's very smooth. Um, I'm not saying the other apps aren't smooth, but this one, it just felt particularly smooth. There's like literally no lag on this. I think what makes GoodNotes 5 a smooth writing experience is because there is no lag when you import images, there's no lag when you move around the text. It's just overall smooth, but it's not perfect. The most annoying feature I found about GoodNotes is that the pages are not continuous. So the page breaks are hard page breaks. You can't write over the page breaks. You can't move images to another page. And this has actually proved to be more annoying than it sounds. And the other big con on GoodNotes is the organization. So GoodNotes organizes your notes with a notebook. But the problem with that is if you have a class, they want you to fit all of your lectures throughout the whole semester into one notebook. You can put a bunch of different notebooks in one folder, but I can't imagine making a new notebook for every single lecture that you have times that by the amount of classes that you have. So by the end, you're gonna have like 200 different notebooks. That's just very messy organization in my opinion. GoodNotes 5 is available on the App Store for $7.99. The only problem I have is writing on this glass screen on the iPad doesn't feel very nice. You don't get that tactile feedback as you would get from pencil and paper. 
So that's why I actually reached out to Paperlike, which is today's sponsor, because they make literally the best screen protector for the iPad. Because writing on the Paperlike screen protector is like writing on paper. You get that sound of paper, and you get that tactile feedback of paper. I think their screen protector is a must-have accessory if you are getting the iPad Pro. And I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring this. If you want one, you can use my link in the description to get yours now. Now on to the second phase of our test with notability. The biggest feature, obviously, I have to talk about it, is the audio record function with Notability. This is a game changer because you can now record your lectures without using any other audio recording app. It's all within your app. And when you play back the audio, your notes will appear as when you wrote it during the lecture. So when you're not sure what your writing means, you can refer back to your audio and hear what your professor was saying at the time as you wrote down those notes. On top saying you better behave yourself, you better behave yourself. And so it's a different mo And another feature I love about Notability is the page viewer is just on the side and it's so much better than GoodNotes because you have to actually dig into the settings in GoodNotes. Another feature that Notability beats GoodNotes on is the file organization. So you can organize your files with subject and divider. The subject is each class, and that's how you organize it. And then you can group your subjects with the divider. That means you can group all your schoolwork together, and then all your like personal notes together, and then all your business notes together. It's a lot better trying to scroll through a single notebook and trying to find where your lecture slides are. And the writing experience on Notability is great. It's not bad. The only feature I miss is the auto deselect feature. I wish they had just implemented that. That would make this a lot smoother. And oh, and I've seen other reviews on YouTube saying that the image manipulation and importing on Notability isn't as good as GoodNotes, but I feel like they've done a lot within the last year to improve that. Now everything is really smooth and when you import images, there's no lag at all and you can manipulate it however you want. So it's really great. And another pro is that Notability has continuous pages. So you can write over your pages if you want. You don't have to worry about making new pages. Now I feel like the gap between the two apps in terms of the note taking experience has really short closed closed together because Notability has done a lot to improve its writing experience and now I can't really tell, you know? Our last competitor is an underdog. His name is OneNote and I feel like he just might swoop in here for the win because OneNote, first of all, is free and the best feature about OneNote is that it connects seamlessly with your computer or with your phone. So that means whenever you take notes on your iPad, it will immediately sync to your computer as well and then you can type more notes on your computer. And I'll just leave this out there. OneNote is what I used during my whole college career at UBC. So let's just go over the pros for OneNote. OneNote has a pen bar at the top that you can customize and there's a lot of color options. I think you guys might like that. OneNote also has another feature and I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna call it Infinity Pages. The pages are just endless. You don't have to worry about making a new page when you wanna make notes, and you can scroll endlessly. So this is actually really useful when you're writing on top of your lecture slides because you can just move it a little bit to the right and right there, you can write. And if you're typing, you can double click anywhere on the page and start typing. You don't have to worry about making new text boxes and stuff like that. And the organization, I will say, is probably the best out of the three because it has notebooks, and then it has sections within the notebooks, and then it has your notes. So what I do personally is I would have one notebook for, let's say, a semester. 
And within the notebook, I would have different sections for each subject that I'm taking. And then I would have different pages for each lecture that I attend. But the biggest con with OneNote is that the writing experience with the Apple Pencil is not the smoothest. I would say there's a little bit of noticeable lag when you write on OneNote. And when you, uh, when you move images and stuff, like there's noticeable lag on the screen. So at the end, who is the winner? GoodNotes 5 versus Notability versus OneNote. I'm gonna pick two winners. The first winner I would pick is Notability. And as a student, I think the audio record function is just so useful. And only Notability has that function. Also, Notability has better file organization than GoodNotes, which is really important if you wanna keep organized. But let me tell you this, if you are a person who uses a PC in addition to your iPad, I would actually go with OneNote over the other two apps. That is just because it connects seamlessly with your PC or with your phone. You can check your notes and edit your notes from anywhere that you want. In conclusion, Notability is better than GoodNotes. OneNote is better than Notability and GoodNotes if you wanna work on your computer and your iPad. And by the way, Gogang, when you get bored from note taking or studying, we do have a community Discord server linked in the description below, all right? My name is Hafu Go, Dare to Dream, and if you want to improve your note taking experience, get a paper like Screen Protector. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.